Greetings everyone, 3D Hero here, and welcome to today's latest mix up build. Today I'll be focusing on a hammer poison build that incorporates hard hitting attacks with a bit of poison and helium generation added into mix. I like to call the setup the Flawn Light build, since the build visually was like a guardian soldier that would have been stationed near a forestry area that you would commonly see in a fantasy type genre. Also, the fact that the setup allows you to recover health upon hits, which then boosts your attack even more, and allow you to apply poison to the monster continuously as you attack them relentlessly which seemed to fit the role of a forest knight gone berserk quite well. Now, focusing on what we have build-wise, using the Yona Flora Hammer will be your weapon of choice, as I find it has everything that you would want when you want a middle ground for both damage and poison application. Currently, the Yona Hammer is pretty strong without any damage boost or skills applied to it, and the poison build-up built into the weapon is also relatively good without any skills added to it to further increase it. With that being the case, I decided to factor in a few key areas to make that build work much better. Firstly, I added in more poison to the weapon, so I could build up the poison attack much quicker with a few hits by adding a poison attack level 2 skill to the set. I then increased the initial sharpness of the weapon so I could do extra damage and atrophy attack the monster longer without needing to sharpen so much with the handicraft skill at level 3 and a sharp jewel at level 1. I then decided to focus more on adding in more damage with the weapon where certain conditions are met such as landing a hit on a crit area and getting more damage when I'm at full health with a weakness exploit level 3 and a peak performance at level 1. The hammer comes with two augmentation slots that further give you the option to apply even more damage, affinity or a health augmentation that can prove useful for keeping the peak performance skill active. I've also put on an affinity augmentation to increase the damage even further with the weapon when landing crit hits as this extra boost of damage upon crit hits will be very noticeable in terms of damage and will push your affinity hits to 90% which is pretty powerful in its own right. Overall this should push your hammer sharpness a bit more on the blue sharpness side, raise your poison alignment to 600 which can be pushed even more but I feel like you've got enough at this point, and push your overall attack to 1014. Now the skills we have left over are the recovery speed up which is a boost from the battle hazard chest and a recovery jewel, the health boost up which are all added on via vitality jewels I had, one critical boost via a jewel and one brace jewel via a jewel. The extra bit of boost and recovery speed is useful for covering up small red areas of my health I'm in, in the fray of things and can allow me to be more aggressive with my attacks as the health augmentation from my weapon can fill in the gap relatively quickly if I manage to chain them properly. Although the recovery speed isn't the fastest, it's still useful for covering up as much red areas against monsters such as Valhazak that has the ability to have your health upon his attacks and once you heal your blight, it will leave a massive red portion of your health to recover. The extra boost in overall health also comes in handy for aggressive play. Like mentioned, with a huge amount of health present, it means I can attack the monster more aggressively and not worry about my health going too far down. Even if it does go down by a small or large portion, I can recover my health back easily by doing big hits like the hammer charge attacks or the big bang attack. As long as it's heavy hitting, I can gain back that portion with ease. The critical boost jewel was added on for that extra crit damage, and the brace jewel was added on so I could stop getting tripped by small monsters attacks while I'm attacking them but also for multiplayer use as well, as hitting a monster and getting tripped by a longsword or a dual blade user every time is honestly the most eye twitching annoyance I have ever faced. If you use this in solo instead, then you will leave you with a free level 3 slot of your choice. So depending on what you're doing at current moment, if you're going to be soloing, you can take the brace jewel off and go with something else, or if you're going to multiplayer, I recommend you put the brace jewel on because you will really need it in most fights. With the skills and decoration added to the set, it will allow the hammer to produce high damage upon major hits while also adding on more damage to the monster via the poison application, which can make a lethal combo against monsters weak to poison. Against monsters weak to poison via 3 stars, it will tick around 20 damage each time, to around 5 ticks before wearing off. 2 star monsters will tick around 15 to 18, and 1 star will be around 10. Ideally, you should be using this against monsters that are weak to poison, but you can use it against monsters that aren't, since the raw damage you produce should be enough elsewise. I also recommend you bring a rock steady mantle with you, so you can hit the monster aggressively without being stunned by the monster's roar, and get a few hard hits in before they attack. Lastly, try and use the charge attack level 2 and 3 to produce most of your damage, and also apply the poison to the monster much quicker, as they are both quite fast action attacks and allow you to reposition yourself so you can sustain attacks on the monster wherever you are. Use your big bang attack only when the monster is immobile, tired or about to do a big attack that leaves them rendered defenseless as you want to pull off the full combo for max damage and poison build up. Focus on the monster's weak point when doing this as you may also get a chance to KO the monster as well, which pretty much allows you to repeat the process over and over again if you're lucky. 
this is a general build that I tend to use against generally any monster in game, whether they're weak to poison or not weak to poison. I find great success using this against monsters that are weak to poison, and honestly it's something completely different compared to some of the other common sets in game. So if you're someone that enjoys using hammers, and you're someone that wants to try out poison, but in a different way, I recommend you give this build a try, and see how it plays out for you. This may be an ideal build for you to play and mess around with, or this may be a overall brilliant build that I don't really see kicking off very well with many people, but over time, may see a few people recommend it if you're someone that wants to try something new every once in a while. And that everyone comes to the end of the video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then a like and sub would be appreciated. And do remember to comment in the comment section if there's anything you were confused with or if there's something you want to mention that I may not have covered in the video, any comment is welcome. So once again everyone, thank you for watching and I do hope to see you again soon.